Hello everyone, Allie here, and welcome to the gold mine. Thank you so much for joining me here on another episode of Allie's Treasure Trove. Today, we do have a new episode of my series, Before You Buy, where we're going to be checking out, yes, another Yu-Gi-Oh! statue. However, not from the Artifacts J line from Kotobukiya, but from the Anyfigure statue line. So, do have this gorgeous Dark Magician Girl, which I did purchase at my local anime store, Anime Fix. Go ahead and link their website in the description down below. I did pick her up a couple months ago, but making this a do before you buy, because I actually noticed Dark Magician Girl is in stock on the Koto US website, and it's actually currently on sale for the New Year's sale. So, we'll drop that link down below. Of course, I'm filming on January 3rd, 2022, so I'm not sure when you all are watching this video. If you're not watching around release date, probably not going to be on sale any longer, but I think it's 10% off. So if you guys were considering picking up this Dark Magician Girl statue, you've seen pictures of it online, but you haven't seen an unboxing and I'm thinking about it, you know, like, Allie, it's on sale, it's not a bad deal, but I want to know what it looks like. Well, you guys can check it out here before you buy. So very excited to go ahead and get on into her. I've been saving her for a while. Just hadn't gotten around to checking her on out. And there have been many Dark Magician Girl statues over the years. This is the one that I have liked the most. So excited to see what she looks like out of the box. Let's go ahead and swap views here so we can actually see her. I mean, right now you're just seeing the top of her box, but let's go ahead and turn it around. Of course, it does have that Kobukia Craftsmanship logo here. This is a one seventh scale pre painted figure. All right, there's a little anime cut out there of the Dark Magician Girl. And here is. A photo of the figure herself. So she is kind of straddling her wand, then does have the symbol down there for the Dark Magicians underneath her for the base. I think it should be a translucent base. Here is the front of the box with the window if you were to keep her sealed. That's the only way that I've seen her so far. And of course, that same image that we have on top of the Dark Magician Girl. And then I do like the little heart window that you can see in on this side. There is the back. You can see the through a little heart window as well. A little winky face there from the Dark Magician Girl. And of course, Japanese information in the back here because I got this one as an import. Not sure if you would order it from the Koto US website, if it would come with English text. Um, I don't think Kotobuki changes things on up, but it might be a little bit of a different version, even though, of course, it's authentic. It's just purchased uh, from a U.S. distributor, Kotobuki's U.S. website versus the Japanese website of Kotobuki. So that is, I think, all the information I have on the packaging. As usual, I'll go ahead and open her on up from the bottom. I do like to open up all my figures from the bottom just to keep them looking as minty fresh as possible. I know there's been some blemishes on the box, but for me... Number one priority is paint job. Second overall is the box, although I really do wish my boxes were all minty fresh. And anyways, I also cleaned up tiny knife. So let's go ahead and get on into here. Minty fresh tiny knife. Let's see, dark magician girl. But yeah, there's been a few different dark magician girl releases. I think actually there's been a couple different Kotobukiya figures of the years. I know there's been a few mega house ones as well. I think either Kotobukiya or mega house did ones for the dark side of dimensions movie. And then there is also Apple Magician Girl and Lemon Magician Girl, which were cute, but I didn't like them enough to buy them. And I just, I don't know, for years I'm like, man, I want a Dark Magician Girl, but none of them were just, they just weren't right for me. So I, I like this one. This is the one that I chose. This is the, my favorite of the Dark Magician Girl figures that I have seen. So I'm very happy with this one in terms of scale figures. Now, ooh, I like the inside of the box. So we could tell by the heart windows, it was all cutesy theme, but look at that sparkle again for the base, symbol of the Dark Magicians, but look at all the little hearts, very Valentine's Day themed. And this would actually be kind of cool to display on the shelf. Now I am going to be switching up my background because of course it's still decorated for Christmas slash New Year's slash winter. But being in Florida, I can't keep it up as like, oh, it's the winter decoration because there's no winter here. There's no winter here. Although apparently it did snow in the panhandle yesterday, so... But in terms of where I am in Florida, there's no winter. But I was thinking I'd make like a Yu-Gi-Oh display. So if I remember, I hope to post on the collectibles. I know my dead collectibles Instagram. It's a new year. I want to bring it back. Post some pictures of Dark Magician Girl here in the light box. And I was thinking I'd make like a Yu-Gi-Oh display on the shelf, but I couldn't find everything I wanted to put up there. So we'll see when I get to rearranging the shelf. But yes, I thought her face looked different. So the winky face is an interchangeable faceplate here. And then, looks like on the bottom, we do have an instruction booklet, so... Or, maybe just choking hazard information. But let's go ahead and take a look at this first. See what we have. Do, do, do. 
information on changing the faceplate, how to attach parts. Two face parts are included. Use the face part of your choosing. So you take off her hat and then you pull off at the neck. You take off the front hair piece and you could swap out the face plates and the front part of the hair and the back part of the hair uh, separate out. How to attach the staff. Slide the staff through both hands from the back of the model and attach the staff head. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. That'll probably be convenient information for us. Then I'll go ahead and put this back in the bag. Man, I haven't done a Before You Buy episode in a long time. I think last was Pharaoh Tem, perhaps? Which actually I think is also on sale. Like I said, there's like a general 10 to 20% off, 25% off maybe on some things. Let me actually mute real quick while I pop this open. And that wasn't as noisy as I thought it would be, but it's just easier for me to go ahead and actually mute it while I'm opening instead of uh, taking the gamble on whether or not I'll remember to mute it in post. So, but yeah, there's a, there's a good amount of different artifacts, Jay, and any statues on sale and other things on the Kotobuki website, Bishojos and whatnot for their year end, I guess, holiday slash New Year's clearance. So any of those current in production artifacts, Jay, Yu-Gi-Oh statues, if you're interested in any of those, it'd be a good time to check out to see if those are on sale as well. But she's so cute. Dark Magician is a girl so cute, which is why I've been confused as to how difficult it's been to find a good scale figure. So, I do have the Figma. I think that also there should be an upcoming Nendroid or so. There's also the, the cute Poche from Kotobuki. It's like, it's kind of like a Nendroid. I have the Dark Magician Girl one. There is also a Gagaga -ga -ga Girl, but I didn't get that one. I wasn't crazy about Zexel, even though I thought it was a cool concept, the Zexel anime. But I do have this beautiful Dark Magician Girl, which for some reason is showing up a little bit more washed out on camera. I'm not sure why the color is going a little bit wonky. She looks more yellow. Let me see. Perhaps it has to do with the play mats. Let me go ahead and take out the staff and the extra face plates. Move this out of the way. We won't need it for the time being. And see if perhaps the coloration adjusts if I switch play mats to something maybe a bit darker. Maybe if I use the Niv mat. Hello, Niv. Niv is currently sleeping, so this is my extent of being able to see Niv at the moment. Niv's like, it's too cold. I'm like, Niv, we're in Florida. I think that adjusts a little bit. Still looks a little more yellowy on camera, but this is more true, I would say, to the color of the actual in-person figure. I don't know what, I, maybe the purples and stuff on the Tamiyo map were throwing it off. But yeah, so here is Dark Magician Girl in her glory. But let's take a look at the accessories because there's more, there's less bags to take off than on this one. So here's the staff. We've been told the staff head attaches from the front, whereas this goes in through the back. So that does separate there. Here's the alternate face plate. It does come with a strand of hair. There's the winky face. And of course, our very clean base. So this is the same base as Dark Magician, except instead of being blue, uh, it is pink. Makes sense. I Well, there's two different Dark Magician Artifacts J statues. I do have the, the true color version instead of the anime color. So I have the blue one instead of the purple. Uh, the purple one might have a different base, but I believe my base is blue. That is one I did not do it before you buy on because I already have it open. One of the few figures that I have open and on display in my room. I have the Kaiba, I have a Yugi, and I have the Dark Magician, as well as a Storm Bishojo. Just because those were the first, like, scale size figures that I got. So, you know, be the first ones that I had, I opened them, and then I just kept getting more with no space, so they've just stayed sealed. Which is how you get, like, Allie, this thing has been out of production for 10 years. How are you doing an unboxing video of it in 2020? You're like... I've just had it forever. All right. Wiggling off the hair plate so we can see the other face plate. And of course, take the plastic off of her neck. I wanted to wiggle this out. She looks cute even with no hair. But I really love her eyes. All right, let's go ahead. I want to continue taking off all these plastics. I swear it said we could pop this off at the neck. All right. We just got to do the side wiggle. All right. So now let's put her head back on. 
yeah, that should be easy to take on and off again. So let me put these back together. That is where we would attach the hat. Good to know that there's a little notch for that. Easy to snap the hair back on. All right, so let's take a look here at Dark Magician Girl. Voluptuous, beautiful, 10 out of 10. I do like the sculpt, like her eyes. Like the pose. Love the kind of... They look like little gems. Not sure how these were painted. Do feel like a different material. Not sure if they actually are different type of plastic. I think so because of the finish, but not entirely sure what those are made of, but I really like them. Very nice accents. Very good paint job, as I've grown to expect with Kotobukiya statues. Sometimes you do see the occasional blemish, but I've been very impressed with their quality over the years. Then all right, to the back. As always, you include the undergarments. Can't be too creepy with your, your waifu statues from Kotobukiya. There are companies that do make like etchy figures, like hentai figures that you could take this stuff off, but these are attached. You can't get too weird with your dark magician girl. And I love also, I love the shading here in between, uh, just to give it just the in action effect. I, I love the way it looks. Looks like she's getting perhaps air blown up from the bottom, Marilyn Monroe style. Oh, but that is pretty, but all right, let's go ahead and see what she looks like with her hats and her staff. Actually gonna put the staff on first. Well, just so that way, I feel like the hat would fall off if I turn it this way. We could try it out. Right, it said this from the back. This feels a bit inappropriate. And by a bit, I mean this feels quite inappropriate. All right, so how do I actually get her to grab with this hand? I don't want to push too far, but it does look like the hands move a little bit. She also has painted fingernails. Kind of like a peachy color. Separate them out from the skin color, so that's a cool detail. But all right, there's the staff. It looks like you could maneuver this a little bit to actually have her left hand. I, I had to check which hand it was. Uh, left hand also holding this staff because her hand is curved that it should fit in. I guess that the arms are moving a little bit. I don't want to push too hard. All right, let's go ahead and put her hat on. All right, even though it's just a little notch, it does stay on. We'll say as compared to the cute poach that is held on with a magnet but also doesn't actually stay on if you move her like at all. Very impressed that the hat stayed on. I thought it would fall off. Oh, she's so cute though. Oh, she's so cute. All right, so she just sits on the base. There's no like knots or anything to have her on the base is what I'm used to with like Bishojo's, but of course she's just on her knees. You don't need to have like footholds since this is a pretty self-sustaining figure it doesn't seem like it would have balance issues so it doesn't need anything it would be weird if they were notches i guess here you could put them but they look weird but all right let's go ahead and swap views again so you guys can see her she's so cute the autofocus is just putting its primary focus on me stop looking at me we gotta look at the dark magician girl all right, there we go. It looks like I'm dabbing. All right, so very cute, very cute. But we want to see what she looks like with her little winky face. So go ahead and take the hat off. Front hair, separate from back hair, and then do the little shimmy at the neck for ease. And I am just grabbing just kind of her waist as we do the little shimmy. This for support. There we go. All right, let's put on the winky face.
All right, let's look without hat. Cute. And with hat. Also cute. I think I am partial to the not winky face. I thought I would like the winky face a little bit better, uh, seeing just the solo head sculpt. But I think completed picture, well, she does look cute from this angle as well. It just adds a more, I guess, seductive feel to the whole figure, which I, I just like Dark Magician Girl because she's cute. And I think a lot of people may prefer this one, but I think I'll I'll go with the standard face for, for my preference. But they're both very, very adorable. Let's go ahead and full screen it once again. Alley Dab for autofocus. There we go, though. She is an adorable statue. Very happy that I do actually have now a scale figure, Dark Magician Girl, in my personal collection. Curious what your all's thoughts are on preferred faceplate, sculpt, paint job, and if you noticed anything else that I might have glossed over, details that you're like, Allie, I really like this portion, I really don't like this portion, let me know in the comments down below. Now, I will give, I think I'll give her here, give her a 9.5 out of 10, just because we did have the little bit of difficulty there. It's not fitting perfectly with the staff. Does seem like with a little bit of wiggling, we'll be able to get her hold, holding that, just like she does on the box. I just don't particularly want to mess with it too much, but it does seem possible, so we'll give that a 9.5. 5 out of 10. Just because it, I'd prefer that to be a little bit easier, but I know how it goes. We had a lot more difficulty with that Anbu Kakashi Mega House. That was a pain. This one is not nearly as much of a pain, just a detail that I do want to point out. But she is lovely, you all. Look how cute she is. Definitely feel like she could fit in with the artifacts lines. I'm not sure why she was put into the Annie statue line. Instead of Artifacts J, since they all are one seventh scale, like I said, same base here, just different color, of course, as the Dark Magician. She fits right in along with the other ones. I don't think the distinction in line really means much, except perhaps that it's a female character. That would be my guess. Although there may be some males in the... I have to look. I have to look through the Kurabuki Annie statue line, see what else they got. Because she's not a Bishojo, although she would fit. But that's more for, like, comic book... Sometimes horror properties, which I gotta look. I'm not sure what upcoming Bishojos I have on my eye. I feel like I haven't purchased a new Bishojo in maybe even a couple years. So curious to look. I know there's a ton of Nendroids coming out this year that I'm interested in. I'm hoping for some more Yu-Gi-Oh! scale figures. I remember I posted in the community tab. There should be a, an exclusive Chaz Princeton coming at some point. But I haven't had any new information on that to my knowledge. I know there was an Alexis figure coming out, but I didn't like the sculpt, so I didn't purchase it. And I still do have on pre-order the, I think it's a Mega House. Or Mega Hobby. Stardust Dragon. Should be a Blue Eyes Ultimate, I think, coming as well. So I'll, of course, be checking those out once I get them in my hand. The Stardust and whatever new Blue Eyes statue that's coming out. Also have the silver and the blue version of the Blue Eyes White Dragon PVC figure from first four figures. Didn't order the Dark Magician because I wasn't crazy about it. Plus, I've never bought anything from that company before. So I'll try out the two Blue Eyes and then perhaps see how that goes. Blue Eyes, I think, was originally scheduled for release in November, but it hasn't arrived yet, so we'll see. I don't think anyone else's has either, so I'm not too worried about it. But when those do come in, I'll check both of those out because there's two different colors because Blue Eyes has been represented uh, not always looking the same. <laughs> And it's different card art, so... And, you know, card art versus anime art versus different card art. So there are a couple different versions. I didn't get the, like, Ultimate Collection. Because I remember in a poll on Facebook, they did say... First for Figures employees said that if the Yu-Gi-Oh! line does really well, you know, we might see a third color Blue Eyes in the future. That would be, like, the white one. So I think, right, we have silver and blue right now. Or is it silver and white and the blue one coming? I don't know. Some mix of that. Whatever the one they didn't make, they said that they would. They might make one in the future. So I figured then I can have the three blue eyes at that point, whenever that comes out. Instead of just buying a set of three of the same, I'll mix and match them. So. Excited for those to come. Excited. Always excited for blue eye stuff. Anything related to Kaiba. Speaking of Kaiba and Dark Magician related, there are those Kurobukiya pop-up parades 
I do actually have the Yemi Yugi, the Kaiba, and the Dark Magician Girl. So if you guys would like to see me, check those out here on the channel. Those are more of a prize figure cheaper, more thrifty collector style. They are, they do look really nice. I These are the first ones I'd seen in person. And I was pleasantly surprised by actually the paint job and for how affordable they are. So I know, affordable and anime figures in the same sentence, that doesn't make sense. But if you guys would like to check out some pop-up parades here on the channel, Yu-Gi-Oh! related, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below, and I can schedule it out. You know, back when the trove first started, I actually did scheduled out, like, planned out a month's worth of videos. And then just life got away. And then it, it got a bit rough there. And it was hard for me to keep up with stuff, and that's when we were getting, like, weird stuff, delays. But, as I said in our introduction video, if you guys missed that earlier today, make sure you go check that out. It is the new channel trailer, too. That's the easiest way to find it. Just go to the Home tab. Like I said, I have a renewed energy here, ready to take 2022 by the horns. So I hope you're excited for our treasure trove journey here coming up. Like I said, give Dark Magician Girl here a 9.5 out of 10 just because of the issues a little bit with the staff. Love the sculpt. Like I said, this has been the only Dark Magician Girl that has done it for me in terms of scale figures. So I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this figure down below as well. But I think that'll do it here for this little unboxing and review, give you a little information about this before you buy, since of course it is available on the market right now and is on sale on the Koto US website for a limited time. Like I said, 10% off, so this would be the time if you guys have been eyeballing this Dark Magician Girl, kind of on the fence about it. Hopefully this video gave you a little bit more of a information that you may have needed to make a decision whether you do want to get her or you don't. And if you do, like I said, right now would be the time she's on sale, even though I know the holidays get a bit tough for the wallet. If you do have the extra cash and you want her, now would be the time. But with that, I think that does wrap off this episode here before you buy. So like I said, you enjoyed it, so make sure you go ahead and hit that like button, comments, your thoughts on this Dark Magician Girl, let me know down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Alley's Treasure Trove family, I'd love to have you join us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here, I do have to give an extra special shout out to all of my patrons over on Patreon. Thank you so much, you all, for your above and beyond supports. Really, truly do appreciate it. I do have six ultimate excavators. Jack Perez, Keith Muta, Mako, Mark, Rees, and Stephen Olivo. Three gemstone miners, Andin, Bounty Hunter Breaks, and Stephen Bly. And one crystal collector, TJ Christensen. But thank you so much again to all of my patrons, whether you're on a tier in which I say your name at the end of every video or not. Really, truly do appreciate your above and beyond support. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. But with that, that does wrap off today's upload. Like I said, nice to be back to the before you buy. I had picked her out this morning, actually. I was like, you know, it'd be nice time to finally open up that Dark Magician Girl. And I was like, you know, I, I didn't get her that long ago. I wonder if she's still in stock. So that is how we came across having the video title before you buy once again one of these special episodes. But I hope you all enjoyed this one here, and I hope you all will join me next time, of course, as we unearth some more treasures here on Ali's Treasure Trove. So that does it for me here this afternoon. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye!